Now let's perform a parallel execution. I have created this suit which has four test cases. Each of these test cases is calling the same keyword and this particular keyword is having a sleep two second and it's logging some message. Now with a regular execution, however, this suit will take minimum eight seconds because each test case is taking minimum two seconds to execute. Now if you want to still reduce the execution time, then parallel execution is the only option. Let's see how to do parallel execution with Pepot library. Before that, I have already mentioned there are multiple ways to execute a test case in robot framework. Either you can run it from your IDE or you can run it from command prompt as well. Now I'm already in the robot framework all in one project directory. If you want to run a test suit, the command to run it will be robot the test suit name. So if I run this command, all the test cases in the test suit will be executed sequentially. One, two, three, four, like that. Now, if you want to do a parallel execution, first you have to run pairbot instead of robot. So instead of robot, you have to give the command as pairbot. This is the first step. If you are running this directly, still it will be run as a sequential order only, one, two, three, four, because you have to still give some more arguments like how many process you want to run. Before that, I will run this suit to see how much time the suit is taking to do the full execution. Now you can see process ID zero. That is only one process is running at a time. So this is executed in a sequential order. One, two, three, four, like that. The total testing time is 8.5. Elapsed time is 8.7. That is the time taken to complete is same as the total test case time. Also, we can see the log file. Here also, if you see, test case one is run at 17.14, whereas test case two would be run at 17.16. After the test case one completes, two would be started. This is how a sequential execution will happen. So either with robot or if you give just pairbot, the sequential execution only will happen. Now, if you want to do a parallel execution, then the command is same, but you have to send some arguments. Let's do a test level parallel execution. So I will give test level split and you have to specify how many process you want to run like two, three, four, anything you can give. I'm using my laptop. So the processor will be slow. So let's give only two parallel executions. That's it. Pebot test level split and how many process you want to run. Let's enter. You can see process zero and one. That is two process are running parallelly. Test case two and one is run parallelly. Three and four is run parallelly. So now if you see the total testing time is 10 seconds, whereas the elapsed time that is the really taken time is only five seconds, half of the time. Also, you can see here it is 8.5, but why here it is 10 is two process are run. As I mentioned, my CPU capacity is low. It is taking 10 seconds. So if you are running in your laptop or something, definitely you can't go more than two process at a time. But if you are using a server machine, then you can give even 10 process at the same time so that your execution time will be very much less. Let's look into the log file as well. You can see here elapsed time. The time that is required to execute four test cases is eight, but the real time taken is only five seconds. Also, if you open this here, you can see test case one and two are started at the same time. So this is reducing our execution time. Now as an exercise, check how suit level execution is happening. Also go to the Pebot library GitHub page they have given a nice documentation and there are multiple options that can be used with Pebot library. You can use all the arguments that can be used with robot command with Pebot as well. Also, there are some additional arguments that are available, like you can send an argument file. So go through all this documentation. Definitely, this is a very helpful and very, very important feature that you will need when you are designing your framework. It is simple to use. You are not going to develop any extra code. Even you are not going to write a single line of code, but you can use this feature. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can see here, there is a file called dot pairbot suit names that is created here. Once you run a pairbot on this particular project, this file will be created. If you open this, it will be having all the test case one, two, three, four, whatever is executed. So here also you can do a grouping. Like as I mentioned earlier, you can group what are the test cases you want to execute, even though if they are in different suits or different directories, you can group all those test cases or test suits so that you can extend this functionality. Once again, I am mentioning 
this is really a powerful future as well as a very very important future so go through the documentation and try to play around this